How you doing guys? If you watched my shout out video I did a few days ago, you saw that uh, Jewish Prepper One was one of the guys that I recommend you go check out. He did a video actually quite a while ago, probably a couple months ago, it was actually a contest video where he posed the question, what is the best way to bring the message of preparedness or prepping to the masses? And I thought the reason I haven't done a um, response yet is because I've been trying to think about it. It's a very good question and a very important question and I hadn't really come up with a good answer. I still don't know if I have a good answer, but I'm going to give it my best shot. And I think it's like a two-part uh, solution that I came up with. The first part is on an individual level. I think the best thing that you can do or that anyone can do to bring the message of preparedness to the masses is to live well through trying times. And because uh, I've noticed that that's how people near me at least have really kind of had the light bulb go on in their head. And it's always been minor things, but that's sort of the point. Is that right now the uh, the public perception is sort of like the doomsday prepper people that um, while that show has done a good job of getting kind of the idea of prepping out there, it's still kind of painting it in this negative freak show image of extremes. And the average person is never going to go to that kind of those kind of lengths as most of the people in the show. And so because of that, they kind of just don't do anything. Whereas I just want people to have you know a few jugs of water set aside, a little bit of extra food, and just some solutions for normal everyday problems that they're going to encounter. And the best way to do this is when these problems come up, is for them to see you and other people just coast right through with no issues because you have preparations. Things that otherwise would have been problems simply become minor inconveniences, and things that were minor would be minor inconveniences are not even an issue at all. And one thing that just pops into my head as an example is that I'd always been trying to tell my friends about like storing up stuff even as simple as a few jugs of water and they normally just blow it off you guys know how it is but one time one of my friends who had always talked about it you know I saw him and he said that his his water had gone out in his apartment and he was you know like oh I had soap all over me I couldn't even rinse off and I was like oh may have been a good idea to have a couple jugs of water sitting around huh and he just kind of like looked at me and I think he realized and just something as simple as that and now he knows that that would have been a good idea and maybe he's thinking about it a little more and so I think that's really, on an individual level, one of the best things you can do is to live well through these, these trying times, even simple stuff like that, up through job loss, you know, hurricanes and you know, power outages, stuff like that, and show that there's a worthwhile reason for doing this. In terms of the country as a whole, or the world even, what's the best way to get the message of prepping to the masses? I think it'll be through the entertainment industry, through like fictional portrayals of uh, prepping, but in a positive light and not to the extent of like doomsday preppers to where they kind of portray this as like a, like I said, it's like a zoo exhibit, like a freak show. It's supposed to be kind of shocking to people. That's why the show was made. But if it's portrayed in the future in more of a positive light, probably in fictional media, I think that uh, people who aren't already interested in it are going to not really tune in to shows like documentaries about prepping as much. But if there are some exciting, popular movies that, or stories, TV shows, books, whatever, that feature prepping prominently in a good light, I think that would really be a good way to get the message out there. Or just media in general, even if it's nonfiction. I just think fiction has the advantage of drawing in people for other reasons other than the, the prepping and then staying for the prepping kind of thing, or at least picking up on it. So I think media, and I think that's what uh, Jewish Prepper One had kind of um, been focusing on in his efforts to get the message to the masses. And I think that's the best way going out. I mean, it's in this day and age, that's the best way of communication, certainly the fastest and most widespread. So I think that's going to be the best option going out. So let me know what you guys think.